<laughs> See that, guys? So sad. Give it, Jay. So, we're out for breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> Lucky Ronald and Fleur have got a, a car we can use. <laughs> That is very pink. That is even too pink. <laughs> 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 Just made a lasagna. Here it is. <laughs> oh my god. The things you do for comfort. It's sticky, it's very sticky. Move it towards me. Are you in? Yeah. I'm in. I think I'm in. Oh. <laughs> yeah, lovely. I've got plenty of room now. Thanks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's a under there. <laughs> One of the strangest things I've carried on a thing in the <laughs> <laughs> See you in a bit. <laughs> Bye. Nice and dry now. So handy that I have a car, right? Yeah. <laughs> Laundry day. Well, what started as laundry day. No, yeah, what started as laundry day mm. ended up, right, Sea Heroes, the swell is now gone. We can return to shore. Let's go and have coffee ashore. Yeah. And then what ended up as coffee was like, oh, should we go and have an ice cream? Breakfast. A breakfast, then an ice cream. And then we was like, shopping. Oh, we've got the car. Shall we go shopping? So Jay brought herself a new dress. I was walking around in a bikini in Sarong, so I needed to get a dress. And then we went to, we got cushions for, outdoor cushions for our cockpit area. And then we went to Waitrose. Waitrose, and then we've got whiskey and mayonnaise. mayonnaise. <laughs> Heinz mayonnaise. Yeah. And then we went to the Mercatina. Oh, yes. And we picked up the most bizarre, bizarre purchase so if you had noticed the little edge little ledge behind here hasn't got any cushions well sea heroes who are floating behind us over there have and I've been jealous so I was like you know what? when I get to car to Jenna which is where we're leaving the boat for a couple of weeks I'm gonna get someone to come and make them guess what we found this front one's a bit big but this this one here perfect size 60 euros absolute bargain I think so uh, yeah we brought that <laughs> another job off the list just just making the bed what do you think of that hey eh? nice you like that yeah love it yeah Came. this is my new spot I don't think so you probably can't but Ronald's there on his seat same seat different side don't get any ideas man. Mercha China, great job, great job. Is it mine? Yeah. It's a 
the Gladius Sewer are out there like <laughs> asking people questions. And like that we're not doing anything wrong. But it's and we're anchored and we've got the anchor ball. We've just quickly run out and put the anchor ball up. But it's like scary, <laughs> isn't it? Isn't I know. Have they gone to see here? I think they're looking, they're looking. Nah. To be honest with you, the only boats he went and had a look at were the um, were the charters. Oh, okay. What are you doing down there? <laughs> Oh, they're gone now, they're up there. That was safe. <laughs> the third, I don't give a shit. She's like, yeah. Is still like on the No. I didn't know you could push it in. Or... Yeah, you can. It's not very good. Ah, cool. <laughs> That's some news. Yeah, I'll get the <laughs> <hat. laughs> it's like a boat in a bottle. How do they do that? <laughs> Yeah. We're going to a restaurant. <laughs> so, we just had a great evening, or well, great afternoon ashore with Sea Heroes, our last afternoon with them. We're going to go out for dinner. I'm in the dinghy, riding back safely. Jay decided that she uh, wanted to swim back. How's the swim? Lovely. Yeah? Yeah. Do you want to flip the rest yeah. of the way? <laughs> I don't know if I can get up. Yeah, you can. Here we are. Today's the day that we leave Sea Hero behind. They are going north to St. Carl's, which is near Barcelona. We are heading south, back down to Cartagena Way to get some warranty work done, and then to the Canary Islands. So, sad day for both. It's been good fun though. I think it's been about a month, maybe a bit longer with them. Um, but yeah, it was really good, really good fun. But unfortunately, we're off today and we've got good winds predicted. We'll see how far we get. We've got 70 miles to do. So Jay's just getting ready downstairs. See you here, Rose. So calm in here today as well. Seems like sea heroes are ready as well. Bless them. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> so sad. We've left each other. Yeah. We'll see them again soon. Yeah, next week. Next week. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to pick up our freezer from Valencia. Yeah. Sent to the wrong place, wrong marina. So we've got to drive all the way up to see them again. But the two boats 
won't see each other for a while. Yeah, that's true. Sorry, Coco. Onwards we go. Onwards we go. So we are going down to... We're going to try and get down to the Marma North today, which is... Oh, it's quite a way when you do this. <laughs> Down here. Right. Oh, look, they're on the oh, yes, still see heroes. Just might have sailing past this headland here because I think that this is stopping the wind. But it's just making the wind sort of die down a little bit. So, motor past here or motor sail past here, get out a little bit more. The wind should pick up and then we're good to go again. But, um, yeah, I was literally sitting here and I saw a tuna jump out of the water just here and bite a, and like eat a fish or hunting or whatever he was doing. So, rod is out, fingers crossed, we catch. Wind's picked up nicely, we've got 10 knots, currently doing 6.4 over the ground. Got a few goose winging, some, doing some bit. Of... We currently got a bit of goose winging action happening. Main out over the port side, Jenny out over to starboard, other sheet down there, up around here. So if I need to loosen it, I can just quickly loosen it from the winch rather than having to run down and struggle trying to pull it off. Behind the sail a little bit, so just put a preventer line on to the midship cleat just to to hold it but I see loads of booms snap all the time because people put preventer lines in the middle of the boom I was talking about it with Ronald and like obviously if they if when the sail jibes or if it jibes like the stopping tensions in the middle of the boom which just I think it just sort of gives it a breaking point whereas I usually prevent mine from the back of the boom so the stopping tensions at the back oh that's close yeah so that's what I do Caught a fish yet? But I brought these lures from this like Chinese pound shop, and I'm not entirely sure that they're. I don't know whether a lure is good lure or bad lure. They're a pound. And they look good. I mean, if I was a fish, I'd probably have eat it. But if not, we haven't caught anything yet, so we'll see. I'll give it another hour or two. If I still haven't had a nibble, then I'll change the lure. I'll let you know. But yeah, I need some help, guys. I need some fishing tips. I really do need some help. If anybody out there knows fishing on a sailboat, drop us an Instagram or just to let or just tell me in the comments. Like whatever, or however you want to let me know. Let me know. This is what happens when you buy a cheap lure. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Change them now. It's alright. We'll catch one. I will. One. <laughs> what? I found the red core cord. Where? Here. <laughs> That's funny. We lost this, but found it. <laughs> That's weird. How did it fall down there? Oh, obviously like that. Yeah. Well done. Well, maybe that's why we don't catch a fish, so we can find our core cord. Yeah, maybe. This box is, is not looking great, mate. It does need a good sort out, you're right. And that's probably why. Maybe the fishing gods are just not being kind to me because I'm not being kind to my box. I think so. Good, Jay. Good, Jay. 